Shopify. Revolutionary platform, of course, helping people change their lives, take control of their own finances. But of course, like I always say, Shopify gives you the keys to the car, but it's up to you to learn how to drive. So, just so happens that I know a little bit about driving myself. But before we go any further, guys, please do me a favor. If any of my previous videos have brought you value in any way, or you want more actionable content on how to get more sales with Shopify, please uh, drop a like, subscribe, and even leave a comment about the future content that you would like to see, because we'll probably do it. So, without further ado, we're gonna do something a little bit different for this video. With uh, Black Friday and all the other upcoming holidays coming up, I wanna try and help you make some more money, okay? For this video, we're gonna do a store review. I'm gonna tell you the changes that I would make, as usual, and then I'm actually gonna make them, and I'm gonna do that by building an entire sales landing page from scratch in real time to show you guys just how quick and easy it is to make custom pages and get more sales. So I thought I'd quickly go through a sunglasses store or a general glasses store to show you what improvements could be made and then to actually implement them, okay? So I found this store on the Shopify success stories, which means it must be hitting a certain amount of revenue or be experiencing a certain amount of success to be featured down there. Uh, go to Shopify success stories or shopify.com slash success stories. You can find a lot of cool stores there and you'll find this one there. But as you can see on first glance, it is very bare and basic. Um, we have some product images here. We have the name of the product. We have the price tag, a bit pricey, but it's fine. They're prescription after all. And then we have this afterpay option. Okay. So afterpay is great. Uh, there's a couple of different options if you want to let people pay in installments on your store. But I think more people should be doing it because you're giving your prospective customer more choice. So it increases the chances of getting that conversion and that sale. People love flexibility, okay? And then the product description, around comfortable shape with a classic look. A couple of features here. Doesn't excite me at all, if I'm being honest. Um, but I guess there's only so much you can say about sunglasses, but we'll talk about that later. And then we have... Uh, a bit of customization so you can customize the frames and you can also customize the lenses now this is probably where they've experienced the most success because customization in 2019 is key like people absolutely love it and that's why print on demand has blown up um, and some of these actually look really good i'd probably buy these uh, i love the round style it appeals to a very kind of specific audience so quite retro vintage okay now moving further on standard blue call to action with the add to cart, um, it, it's fine. It, it pops enough from the page. Uh, and then we have these kind of little uh, like graphics along here, only featuring two. If, if this was me, I would put a lot more in here um, in terms of what actually differentiates you as a brand or as a company or what you're trying to offer. So stuff like free delivery, uh, free worldwide delivery, hassle-free returns, money back guarantee, whatever makes you different from the competition and whatever helps you convey your offer quickly so users can just scan it and get the gist of what you're actually trying to, uh, to offer. Uh, it'd be really cool to see that. But And then going further down, we have nothing. We just have a newsletter sign up and then the standard uh, payment badges so if I was to optimize this for like a Black Friday sale for example right now this would need a lot of spicing up but that's what I'm gonna do um, and I'm gonna run you guys through it so the look that I'm going for in terms of the landing page is something similar to this you know beautiful images uh, really compelling descriptions and this kind of page is really easy to make and it would definitely convert really well so without further ado let's just jump straight into it all right, all right, let's just cut to the good stuff. Let's uh, start building the entire sales landing page from scratch. So I'm gonna show you guys some really cool design elements and conversion elements that you can implement for Black Friday. Okay, stay tuned. All right, now I am in the PageFly app. Obviously we are PageFly, but to be honest, we're always checking out the competition and we're probably the most affordable and one of the most powerful. We've just been rated number two in the Shopify app store, so definitely check it out. Um, within the dashboard, I'm just going to go ahead and create a regular page for a landing page. So right up here, boom, and then Charlie's landing page, the name of the sunglasses, and you can see the URL is automatically created here. I want it to be a regular page and I want to hide the footer because it's going to be a special standalone landing page. And then the quickest way, because I want to show you guys the absolute quickest way um, without taking up too much time, I'm going to use a template. There's over 50 of them here that you can choose from. It makes the process super easy. All you have to do is pick one and then uh, change the content to your own. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm 
and then it's honestly as simple as just changing the content and if there's any new sections you want to add you drag it from here any new sections or elements and anything you want to delete you just click on it and press delete that's simple so what I'm going to do now is just fast forward the video and uh, I'll show you the end result The only changes I made after I cut the camera off was I changed this gradient from a blue to a brown just to make this call to action stand out a little bit more. Now let's look at the finished result, okay? Now here we have it. Beautiful hero image, nice and clean and crisp. We've got a headline and then a little quote here. You know, something to invoke a little bit of emotion. And then we've got another headline, so that what's really important, we have a headline to keep them engaged and keep them reading, you know, give them a reason to scroll down the page and find out more instead of just clicking away. Uh, Charlie's yeah, effortless bringing the retro feels from the 80s back to modern day. So remember when I was talking about the vintage appeal and the demographic that these glasses would appeal to, you got to use that in your copy and, you know, try and speak to them on a on a one-to-one -one level. And then we've got what you would normally see on your Shopify product page. We have the name and the, you know, the price and the short description and then I used this uh, bright blue call to action so brown and blue complement each other quite well so it's, it doesn't fall out of line with the color palette but it still pops from the page and then we have more headlines nice images and benefits of using the product always 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 shoot for benefits when you're trying to sell stuff online people don't buy for features they buy for benefits go further down we've got more headlines and more benefits so the whole time we're uh, sparking their curiosity and making them more intrigued by the product 
And then finally, elements for urgency. Black Friday sale ends in 41 days. So for this, we use the countdown timer. It's right in here in the PageFly dashboard. Drag it and drop it over. And then reviews. Now, obviously, if you are, you know, you have a Shopify store and you're building a page like this, you want to actually use real reviews. So you're using apps like Luke, Luke, sorry, or Ali Reviews. I obviously just wrote these in because I don't have this product listed in my store. But that's what you would do. And if you want to do that, right over here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are review widget apps that you literally just drag and drop onto the page. So super easy. And then finally, I like to put one last call to action, one last chance for people to buy it because if somebody has scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the page and they've finally decided, you know what, you've convinced me, I'm going to buy the product. You don't want them to scroll all the way back up. You want to make it as easy as possible for them to buy. So put another call to action at the end so they can just click it, be redirected to the card and the process is done. You've made the sale, okay? Now, obviously, this took me around 12 minutes to make. Super, super short period of time. Uh, if you spent even just one hour making a page or two, three hours, imagine the kind of content you could create and the kind of page you could make. Now, I would obviously, for me, I would add in a lot more content than this. But this was just very quickly to show you how easy it is to make custom pages and pages that will convert really well. Pages that look beautiful, clean, and professional. And they're designed with a specific purpose in mind, okay? And one more thing I want to show you guys is mobile compatibility. So I made this entire page in the desktop view. And if you just click over here, you can view it in tablet or mobile views. And mobile view is extremely important because I would say about 60 to 70% of your traffic coming to your store is going to be on mobile. I know it is for my store anyway, so you need to optimize that to convert. So you can see if I click over here, it's pretty much already formatted beautifully for me. There's no changes I really need to make, but if I do want to make some changes, let's say I want to make this font a little bit smaller, all I do is come down here, change the font size, and boom. And if I change this font size in mobile view, you do not have to worry about it being changed in desktop view. It'll remain the same, okay? So that's how you customize your store for mobile. That's it for today's video, guys. A uh, couple of takeaways. You do not need to pay an expensive coder to make these kind of pages for you. You can take control of your own business and do it all yourself for a fraction of the price and you can also in the process learn exactly what it takes to build a high converting sales page now if you guys are interested in checking out uh, the app that i use to make this page just click the link in the description i believe you get two weeks free trial so you can give that a go if you don't like it you do not have to pay for it but you can make that money back easily in a day and the day i'm talking about is black friday you make that back and much much more okay if you guys want to use the gradient tool that i was using in the video that you just saw i'll leave a link for that in the description too if you want to read the transcription of this video you can also check that in the link in the description okay best of luck guys and if you have any uh you know videos that you would like to see us make just leave a comment down below we'll try and uh, get back to you and see what we can do peace